Suppose I were to begin by saying that I had fallen in love with the color. Suppose I were to speak this as though it were a confession. Suppose I shredded my napkin as we spoke. It began slowly, an appreciation, an affinity. Then, one day, it became more serious. Then, looking into an empty teacup, its bottom stained with thin brown excrement coiled into the shape of a seahorse. It became, somehow, personal. Hi everybody, it's Caitlin here for a review. Uh, some of you may have noticed that this is one week after I posted my first video and I've decided that for the time being, as I get into the swing of things with booktube, I'm going to be posting a video every Friday. Friday. Except, I mean, I don't really have any actual fries, it's just, you know, fry yay, like, yeah. Um, anyway, so, the book that I'm reviewing for you today is Bluettes by Maggie Nelson. So, I picked this book up at Barnes & Noble, I was there with my friend, we were just kind of browsing, and I have this thing whenever I go to Barnes & Noble, because I hardly ever go there for... A specific book I like helping you know the smaller bookstores <clears throat> I'm fine I like helping out <laughs> the smaller bookstores and the more local places but I do go for to Barnes & Noble for my poetry and for you know work that I can't really find in smaller bookstores or used bookstores or whatever so, whenever I go to Barnes & Noble, after that entire explanation I just did, um, I try to pick out something that I've never heard of whenever I look and browse in the poetry section. So, I found this in the poetry section, but it's not... It's hard to classify what this is. The back says it's essay slash literature, which I... I mean, it's kind of essay, but it's also kind of poetry. I think Goodreads had it best. I um, I looked this up on Goodreads, you know, when I updated that I'd read it. And in the caption, it said, Lyric Essayist. And I think that perfectly encompasses what this is. So basically, Maggie Nelson wrote this book all about the color blue, which sounds very basic and boring, but she turned it into something so magical. Very hard to describe what the form is. So I read to you one section of Bluettes that was like the first little phrase, and there are 240 total. Um, here, I'll, I'll hold up the page so you can see. So it's basically an essay, but it's written in poetry language, if that makes sense. So, like, I'll show you a page. This is what it looks like. Yeah, so the only thing I can really think of that compares to this book in something that I've read before is Autobiography of Red by Anne Carson, which is one of my favorite books or poetry books. I still don't know what I would consider that. So first off, I mean, I really appreciated the form. The form was so unique, you know, as I showed you. I appreciated all of the ways she played with her style in order to get her message across. What I really, really liked about this is that there was a ton of imagery, which, I mean, you probably could have guessed since, you know, it's all about color blue. Um, but it just, it really sp just grabs hold of me, you know, and it just forced me to see these images, and it was truly amazing. If a color could deliver hope, does it follow that it could also bring despair? I can think of many occasions on which a blue has made me feel suddenly hopeful, turning one's car around a sharp curve on a precipice and abruptly finding ocean, flipping on the light in a stranger's bathroom one presumed to be white but which was, in fact, robin egg blue. Coming across a collection of navy blue bottle tops pressed into cement on the Williamsburg Bridge, or a shining mountain of broken blue glass outside a glass factory in Mexico. But for the moment, I can't think of any times that blue has caused me to despair. Just, I can just see this car, you know, pulling around like the side of a cliff or something. Not a cliff. That would be flying. Side of like a hill or a mountain and just seeing this 
blue sky or ocean oh my I can just see it and it's another thing really cool about this was all of the background I guess is the word I'm looking for that she put into this she constantly referenced different philosophers scholars religious um, saints I'm drawing a blank I know there were a lot of other things hers and on top of that she, and on top of that she just incorporated the history of the color blue which sounds so silly to say out loud but there's so much history to the color that I had no idea about and she has like real story along with her own personal recounts of what the color blue means to her where she sees it how it affects her I just I can't describe to you enough how cool it was to see these facts intertwined with her day-to-day -day life intertwined with the overall message of the novel poetry book essay whatever you want to call it <laughs> I fell in love with this I really did this is the exact type of writing that I enjoy I really like contemporary poetry it's definitely my favorite I love what people are creating right now I just think it's the best and I know oh, good you know I read you some of those lines hold on I like circled some and now I think we can say a glass bead may flush the world with color but it alone makes no necklace I wanted the necklace <laughs> and out of context as you wish but it was just lines like that that really just punched me this whole study of the color blue and ever since I read this well I finished it yesterday um, I've just seen the color blue differently and that's not an exaggeration like you don't notice how often you just skim over colors and the things around you with your eyes like obviously like I know this is black you know but I haven't really studied the color in a long time maybe I'm the only one that like misses these things but I'm pretty sure I'm not and just reading you know however many pages it was like oh, about a hundred pages all about the color blue I just look at it now and I just I see it I feel like I've been just ignoring colors for so long and this is making me see in color I feel like a black and white movie that's turned into color like Fantasia that's a movie that does that Fantasia I feel like Fantasia only in real life and just with the color blue I feel like I should be wearing some blue now back um okay so overall I will give this four out of five stars uh, since this is my first review for all of you that don't know I very rarely give things five stars because I'm just so picky about the books that I give five stars to. So four stars is like good. Don't be deterred by that one star. Um, the only reason I wouldn't give it five stars really is that it kind of dragged in a few spots. Um, I mean it just felt a little tedious in parts. It wasn't the overwhelming sense of the piece but in the beginning especially, <clears throat> excuse me took a little bit to get into it. I recommend this book for people that are okay with having to find the meaning on their own. This is not the type of piece where the author just takes your hand and shows you like this is the metaphor, this is what I want it to be. Because I feel like with this, the blue, all of her themes coming together they can mean so many different things for so many different people and that's just amazing <laughs> I love when books do the thing <laughs> I hadn't heard of Maggie Nelson until this I picked this up and I looked her up on Goodreads and she has a few other books out some poetry and stuff and a memoir I think and I really want to check those out because I love this so much um, but I would also recommend this just as a side note it's not the happiest thing in the world. It ends on a hopeful note and it does have this undercurrent, that's the word, undercurrent of hopefulness and like moving forward throughout the entire thing but that being said it is pretty sad. I mean you have to be in the right mindset to want to read this. Like if you're going through a heartbreak or if you're missing someone or 
you just you're okay with you know making yourself sad um this would be a good pick but do not pick this up when you're feeling super happy and you're looking for something to keep your mood up because this is not going to do that for you my review of bluettes by maggie nelson i hope you guys like this video and i hope you guys check out her book and i hope to see you guys really soon bye all right then let me try to rephrase when I was alive, I aimed to be a student not of longing, but of light.